What's up? My name is Maurice Spears of Mahomes Media, and this is my video on Chell Sonic and how he never stays on the subject. All right, if y'all watch Chell Sonic long enough, y'all know if he's talking about a subject, he's going to start talking about something else. He's going to go in, into an entirely different direction and start rambling about some other stuff because he's trying to stretch that video out for at least eight minutes to get those uh, ads in there and to take advantage of the algorithm. So I'm going to do my best Chell Sonic impression. I'm going to do a parody and I want to see how long I go. If I can make it to eight minutes, if everything's going smooth, I'm going to try to stretch it out to 10 minutes and I'm just going to go and do what Chell Sonnen does. All right. So I'm going to talk about the Holly Holm fight. Holly Holm versus Ketlin Vieira. You know, a lot of people watched that fight and observed it and they believed the fight was a robbery. All right. It was a robbery. It was something that should not have happened. All right. Holly Holm lost the fight. I believe that Holly Holm won the fight. But that's not what I'm trying to tell you. What I'm trying to tell you is that Caitlin Vieira didn't lose the fight. She won the fight. So this is something that has divided the MMA fan base, all right? So um, did she lose? Did she get the bad end of the stick when it came to the judges? Do we need to change the, the judging criteria? Well, we don't know that. But what we do know is that we have control over our pay-per-view dollars. So when it comes to purchasing these pay-per-views, like for example, Holly Holm versus Vieira, we have to take into account that the judges can dictate this fight in a direction that may not be to your liking. And that's up to you. That's up to you as the MMA fan. You don't have to buy the fight. You don't have to watch the fight, but you need to watch the fight because you need to witness what has happened on your TV screen or your cell phone for that fact. And what I'm trying to tell you is that MMA judging does not need to be changed. And the reason why it doesn't need to be changed because we are human and humans make mistakes. Humans have error. Humans are regular beings that are not animalistic. They're not like animals. You know, if you have animals judging the fights, it'll be all kind of chaos. Imagine animals and dogs and cats judging the fight. You know, a strike landed, you won't hear Joe going, oh, you hear, burr, burr, burr. You hear that stuff because that's how animals judge fights. That's how they commentate. That's why we need humans judging the fights despite the fact that they make mistakes. Now you hear people saying, oh, well, we have Elon Musk around here. He's create AI and all that stuff. We have AI bots judging the fights. Yes, yes, yes. But then there'll be accusations of people coding the judges to favor certain fighters. So no matter what, we're gonna be having controversy going in this way and that way when it comes to AI, because AI is something that we are definitely going to move forward to as a human race. We're gonna start moving towards AI, but at the same time, we have to acknowledge that AI is not just Allen Iverson, but it's artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence will give artificial responses and judging criteria within the fight. You know, because that's something that can possibly happen. And many people have said that Holly Holm may not be the real Holly Holm. We've seen Holly Holm, the one that defeated Ronda Rousey, look fantastic, look excellent. Then there's people who are saying, this Holly Holm is artificial intelligence. She lacks the heart. She lacks the, the, the spirit inside. And that's something that AI doesn't have. They don't have feelings. They don't have emotions. And sometimes you need emotions when judging fights. You need to apply the emotional factor in that. And that's what I think swayed the fight into Vieira's favor was the emotional aspect of a fight when it comes to AI and how to judge the artificial intelligence within the fight in the context that has been pushed forward when it comes to these pay-per-views and ESPN Plus and the model at hand. So in taking into account Holly Holmes, not Holmes, a lot of people say Holmes. No, not like Larry Holmes, it's Holly Holmes. Larry Holmes have that s, that s, you hear that? Larry Holmes, s, s. And there's something that I did find out. When you do have that s at the end of your name, the judges will favor towards that fighter. When you have that s, Holly Holmes' problem is she doesn't have that s, it's Holly Holmes and nothing else. And that throws judges off. It tends to throw them off and it puts them in a um, tough spot puts them in a tough spot because they like that it sounds like you're cooking something right you got the you got the stove on and you got some meat you got some elk meat and you, you put all types of great sauce on there you throw that meat on that grill and it's it's it, 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 
it exudes a, a relaxing state within the human brain. And it causes you to favor that because it brings memories of when you barbecue with your, with your dad on the grill and you hear that. So what Holly Holmes doesn't have is a the factor. If she was, if her name was Holly Holmes, she would have won that fight. She would have won that fight. But the judges tend to favor the not the mm, s, mm. You know, because that reminds me of when I was doing a podcast with Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, he, he's killing elk. He's killing all types of animals, bears, lions, tigers, and bears. You know, the, the same type of lions and tigers and, tigers and bears that that I, I the, the, the biggest arms in West Lynn, have submitted many of times. Um, he was telling me about when he, when he cooked the elk, right? Chopped it up, put all type of flavoring on it, jalapeno peppers, put on that grill, and Joe Rogan instantly thought somebody would just won. He's like, you won the fight. That's what he said to the S. You won, you won. So what I'm saying is we do not need to change the judging criteria. What we need to change is the S criteria. We need to change our mindset when it comes to watching these fights and not judge people too harshly on what they witness on the screen when it doesn't apply to fighting or hunting. Because I have once judged a fight. I have judged fights before. And let me tell you, when you hear certain names and certain syllables, it does throw you off. It does. Anderson Silva. This is why he won the fight, because it was Silva. You get it? I kind of had an idea of what was going to happen. He, I won four rounds. He won one round. I thought that whoever won more rounds wins the fight. That's why I was willing to give him that one round, that fifth round. And this is a saying in West Link called, if you plead the fifth, you got to give them the fifth, all right? So whenever you plead the fifth, give somebody the fifth. And that's what I did for Anderson Silva. When I heard that, I gave him the fifth. Thinking, because I won the previous four rounds, here's an opportunity to give somebody the fifth. Anderson Silva, the fifth. And I gave him the fifth, and I end up losing a fight, not knowing the rules, not knowing the criteria. And that's what I'm saying when it comes to MMA judging. You have to know the criteria and the bylaws at hand. Read the handbook, figure out what's going on with the judges, what's going on with the fighters, how they're doing the day before, how's their family life. If they are coming to the fight, injuries or no injuries. I came into my fight against Anderson Silva as the best, the baddest, no questions asked, the greatest fighter that has ever existed. But I had a brain fart because like I brought up earlier, we are humans, we're not AI. I had a brain fart. My emotions got the best of me. I gave Silva the fifth. Because he had that s, that s. If it was Anderson Ilva, he would have lost the fight. The judges would have, they would not have cared if I submitted. They'd be like, no, he still lost. Chel Sonnen, I know, I know y'all thinking, Chel Sonnen, but no, 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 no. No, it's whoever has the loudest. My son, my name is Chel Sonnen, not Sonnen. It's Sonnen. Sign it, sign it, sign it. See, there's no s in it. So what I'm telling you is that with Holly Holmes and Pierre, I agree with the scoring criteria. I agree with the judges. The, score, the fight was scored correctly. It was scored uh, in a way that was very, 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 very strategically scored. And that's how our MMA scoring system needs to stay. Do we need to replace some of the judges? Yes, we do need to replace some of the judges because the judging situation can be a little flawed when it comes to fighters who, or judges, I say fighters and judges, because there are fighters who have judged fights as well. So I do include them as well, because I do feel like we have to differentiate the fighters who are judging and somebody who's in the industry of judging, somebody who has never fought in their life, a writer, I might say, somebody who's never thrown a punch in their life, Sissy, I might say. We have to dif differentiate them and realize what we're dealing with. Dana White doesn't control none of this. Dana White has no power over this. So I'm saying this, when you wear a cowboy hat, you look like this, you're going to get certain eyes on you. That's why Cowboy Cerrone has certain fights that went into his favor because he's wearing cowboy hats. If you wear a cowboy hat, it says a lot about you. You're a badass. You have the biggest arms of West Lynn. You're a champion. And that's why people wear cowboy hats because I want y'all to Listen to what I'm saying. If I didn't have this cowboy hat, y'all would shut the video off already. 
I'm the only one that's capable of keeping somebody on this video for at least eight minutes because that's how a sonnet is. That's what a sonnet's about. That's what a sonnet is here on earth to do. So let's get to this fight. Holly Holmes versus the earth. How is this fight going to happen if they do a rematch? A rematch? Well, are we going to change the judges? Are the judges going to be different? Where are the judges from? How old are the judges? Somebody has said the judges need to be a little bit younger. I will say much younger. Let's have babies judge the fight because babies are honest. And that's the problem with people when they get older, they lose that honesty. They start getting in their feelings. They're like, oh, well, I don't want to hurt your feelings. I want to No, you got to be honest. That's why we need babies to judge the fight. Googles and Gagas. A little bit older, maybe five years old. That's the criteria when it comes to MMA judges, not just MMA boxing as women. Holly Holmes used to be a boxer. When she was a boxer, her name was Holly Holmes. Holmes. That's why what I brought up earlier, there are some conspiracies on, over the fact that Holly Holmes may not be the same person that she was when she defeated Ronda Rousey. She's somebody different. So how can we learn from this? How can we learn from the mistakes of the past and move forward? We got to move forward. You got to move forward. You got to move forward. You can't go back. He had a fight. Should have been judged in favor of Holly Holmes, but we can't take that into account. We have to move forward. How can we fix this? Well, we can fix this by putting everybody in on an even playing field to make sure they're being judged non-discriminatorily and figure out how can we get the specter dying down a little bit. Let's not judge people by that s in their name. I, I tell you this, um, this, this video is definitely sponsored by this cowboy hat right here. Sponsored by this cowboy hat only costs 500 bucks, $500. $500 all costs. Magic hat is what they call it. Magic hat is the best hat in the world. It's the most fantastic hat that you can ever wear. If you're going bald like Chell Sonic, wear the magic hat. Wear the magic hat today. Order for only $899.99. I'll send the hat to you myself. And I won't judge you like these MMA judges judge the Hollywood. So what I'm trying to tell you is if Holly Holm had ordered the magic hat only for $899.99. No, that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's saying $800, $900. Won't you just round it up? No, that's not the point. One cent makes a difference. You have that one cent left, you can get something that you couldn't get before. Let's say you want to buy a 99 cent cheeseburger, then you find out there's tax on there. You only have a dollar five. You need that extra penny. That's why I put it at $899.99 because I think about my fans and their well being. So what we're talking about, we're talking about Anderson Silva and his fight yesterday, or he fought uh, some guy, we don't know his name. I don't know if he has a S in his name, but he, he definitely won the fight. And we can't judge Anderson Silva by how he did against me, how he did against Chel Sonny. When I gave him a round, when I gave him a fifth, because I was doing him a favor, charity, charity, great charity, uh, a kind gesture, I might say, right? So how can we get this? fight back to how it used to be, judging how it used to be. One judge. And if you wear the magic hat, you'll definitely judge differently. And if everybody did, and everybody purchased this magic hat for 899.99, you will win all your fights. That's all I gotta say.